Hello. Welcome back to our tutorial video series. This video will guide you through the process of updating your node's firmware using Axio Nimbus. The first step is to ensure you have downloaded the latest firmware files. To do this, open up the Axio Nimbus app with your Android device connected to the internet. Then, press the Start button. Next, tap the menu icon in the top left corner. Then, select the Bout from the menu list. On the About screen, you will see a line called FW Updates. Click on the exclamation mark here to review what is new in the latest firmware version. Click OK to close this window once you have reviewed the change log. Now, to download the latest files, tap the download icon beside the exclamation mark. The latest files will now be downloaded to your device. Now, we can connect your node to your Android device. To do this, you will need your micro USB cable and the OTG adapter you received in the box with your gateway. Connect the micro USB side of your cable to the micro USB port in your node. Then connect the OTG adapter to the other end of your USB cable and then into your Android device. Next, open up the network settings on your Android device and connect to the gateway's Wi-Fi network. You will need to download the project configuration from the gateway before continuing. Once connected to the Wi-Fi network, open the Axio Nimbus app and tap the Start button. You will see a pop-up asking for some cable permissions. Please ensure you allow these permissions, as they allow Nimbus to communicate with your node. Next, tap on the download icon beside the name of your project. This will bring the project configuration from your gateway into the Nimbus app. Once downloaded, you can disconnect from the gateway's Wi-Fi network if your node is in a different location. Tap the menu icon in the top left corner. Then select Firmware Update from the menu list. On the Firmware Update page, choose your device type from the drop-down menu. For this video we are using a VWS8. Next, select the hardware version of your node. You can find the hardware version printed on the board inside your node underneath designed in Singapore. Please note, if you are using a tiltmeter node, the printing inside may say Beam-AN. Please disregard this. You only need the hardware version number. Next, select the firmware version you will be updating your node to. The latest versions will be listed in this drop-down menu, with the most recent at the bottom of the list. Now, before tapping the firmware update button, we will need to put your node into update mode. This is done by pressing and holding the test button. Then, without releasing the test button, switch the node off. Then switch the node back on. Once the node has been turned back on, you may release the test button. Your node is now in update mode and you can proceed by tapping the firmware update button. Your node will be updated to the specified version. Then in most cases, Nimbus will run through a quick setup to reapply all of the network and sensor settings to your node. Since this node has not been set up before, the quick setup has failed, so I can show you another method to complete this process. Tap OK to clear this message. From the Setup Project page, tap the Pair Node button in the bottom left of your screen. On the Node Setup page, scroll down until you see Quick Setup. Then, tap the icon to the right. Nimbus will now run the Quick Setup. Once the quick setup is done, the final step is to sync the project. 
To complete the project sync, return to your gateway and connect once again to its Wi-Fi network. Once connected, tap the red Project Sync icon in the Nimbus app. Congratulations! You have now successfully updated your node's firmware. The process is a little different for our digital nodes, as they run on sensor-specific firmware, so they must be updated to the firmware made for the sensor intended to be used. To update your DG node, select your node and hardware versions as you would for any other node. After selecting your hardware version, you will see a drop-down menu appear labeled Manufacturer. From this menu you can choose from all of the different digital sensors that have been integrated to work with our nodes. For the purpose of this video, I'll choose Measure End. Next, choose the latest version available from the Firmware Version drop-down menu. Now, we'll put our node into update mode using the same method as before. Press and hold the test button. Then, without releasing the test button, switch the node off, then switch the node back on. Once the node has been turned back on, you may release the test button. Next, tap the firmware update button at the bottom to proceed. Once updated, your node will be ready to use with the sensor you've specified. This concludes our Node Firmware Update tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at axio.com.